Now you will find out what real power is! The Princess of the Nightblade. Uh, Lynn. She's nowhere to be found. And the boy with the blonde hair isn't here either. Did the two of them go into the Hollow Knight together? Of course she would. She tends to jump head first into the jaws of danger the first chance she gets. Even having lived this long, I still do not understand the ways of women. I had hoped to not waste time with any inverts, but it'd be foolish to underestimate our opponent. Amnesia and their vessel, Paradox? Even the actions of the Nightblade worry me. Kuon, my comrade in arms! Is this too a part of your plan? There's no point in me thinking about this too much. I guess it's once again my duty to plunge into the abyss and put an end to Paradox's treachery. And Lin's absence could be a blessing, as it's one less person to babysit. I can feel my blood starting to rush through my veins! It's been a while since I've had the chance to unleash my power! Her wickedness will fall to my claws! <laughs> Oh, what a surprise. Waldestein the Hecatonk here. Sworn enemy of the Nightblade. Not sure whether I'd consider myself lucky running into a monster like you here. What's this? You radiate the aura of a warrior. You already know my name, but I've yet to hear yours. Mine? You're a hot chick I'd consider telling you, but... Nah, you're a dude. And I'm more interested in why an old man with massive claws is wandering around on a night like this. Heh, <laughs> you're thinking way too hard about it. I'm just here to go berserk. It's my job to distract Amnesia from the princess's movements. Although needless to say, if the chance presents itself, I'd gladly take Paradox's head. Yeah! <laughs> so, you're creating a diversion. Do you really think it was wise telling me all this? I probably would have been a lot more... subtle if I were you. Huh? Really? Why? Whoa! You're supposed to be the good guy here, right? If the enemy knows you're coming, they'll just stay away. If you were trying to get their attention, they can just ignore you now. Huh. That possibility never occurred to me! I mean, I'm pretty tight with Amnesia, you know? Then again, I'm not so tight with them I'd rat your true intentions either. What? You're actually a part of Amnesia? Talk about a stroke of luck for me! UNN Kidu, you guys sure have an eye for talent. It's a damn shame that you're my enemy. <laughs> oh yeah, old man Enkidu. He likes to mess around with my head too. Damn it. Why is it that I only seem to attract old men? <laughs> it's all a part of your charm. I too have fallen for your masculine wiles. Now let's see if you can satisfy this burning I have deep in my heart! It doesn't look like you're going to give me a choice. But if I win, you leave me the hell alone. Deal? Whoa! What in the hell? I wasn't expecting to run into something as weird as you! Seriously, are you even human? Did you escape from a zoo or something? Hmm? Did you just point at me and say weird? You might have potential, youngster. But I recommend you take a look in the mirror and build some muscle. How did you end up so... frail? <laughs> That's hilarious! I was about to ask you almost the same question. I mean, how did you end up as a goddamn friggin' monster, old man? Since you're walking around in two legs, I'll overlook the obvious differences and say you're human. Barely. Not like it'll matter in a minute though, because I'm going to end you! Hmm. <sighs> to attack someone while their guard's down! That's hardly honorable, youngin. But what about... You wield a bizarre power befitting your unsettling... Physique. You managed to stop my blood spike with one hand? Now that's what I'm talking about! But I've killed tons of people just like you, old man! You're hardly worth worrying about! Child's play! True power comes from a well-trained body! Your pathetic tricks are nothing compared to my superior abilities! 
I'll skewer you like a mouse in a cat's claw! I'll rip you to shreds! Just like a flimsy piece of paper! You little bastard! To think I'd run into you before heading into the abyss! Walt, Stein, you've abandoned the path of eternity and are now just another heretic vessel. You willingly became a monster, and yet you still have regrets. Regrets? Perhaps I have a few. Lin, Kuan, and Adelheid. But as for you, I don't care what happens to you, punk! <laughs> and this evening, has the princess already made her way here? Yeah, she arrived a moment ago, along with the insulator. They are making their way to the altar of light and darkness, where paradox awaits. Nightblade conspiring with amnesia? I cannot fathom it. I'd love to hear more about it. Perhaps it is Kuan's will that drives you? As a fellow soldier, do you honestly believe I'd tell you anything, just because you asked? Bastard! At least you learned to talk the talk! As a fellow Nightblade, I worried about your lack of strength, but I see I was wrong. Now, to rip you limb from limb! You intend to run after Lin Hecaton share? You might already be too late. I'm sure even you can tell that she's still no match for Paradox. Huh. <laughs> Both me and that little girl are really good at defying the odds. She's especially tough. If I were you, though, I'd be far more worried about my own well-being. I'm not one for pulling my punches, you know! Hecaton Cher, the infamous guardian of the Princess of the Nightblade. If you're looking for your precious little princess, she's asleep over there. Oh, were you worried about her? So you're the nefarious paradox. What a joke. And if the princess was so easily killed, I would have cut ties with her a long time ago. Well now, that's convenient. I wish to speak of abandonment. The Nightblade is running away from the inside. Why not join Amnesia? Lord knows, you look villainous enough. I am in need of a ferocious hunting dog! And I'll let you live or die on the battlefield as you wish. So, why don't you join me and wield your awesome strength on my behalf? So I get to unleash my power on whoever I want, however I choose? Actually, that's not a bad deal. Of course. That means I can bear my fangs at amnesia as well. Right. Don't expect me to get all chummy with you or anything. Leave the Nightblade and join amnesia. You can berserk to your heart's content until you die. Not a bad life, eh? Hmm? For once, you actually make a good point. But I need to see if you're worthy to be a vessel. If I defeat you here, then you're not worth my time, despite your age. And I cannot wait to bear my claws against your own monster, Enkidu! And until that match has come and gone, I cannot let this flesh wither and die! <laughs> Why am I not surprised you'd say that? I'll gladly be your opponent, if that is what you desire. We of Amnesia will become Rebirth. I'll take a moment to let your fear of me take over. You thought you could become a rebirth with your powers? Welcome back to reality, Paradox. One's EXS abilities come from a sound mind and body. You are no match for my strength. Then again, it looks like you can no longer hear anything I say. Sleep forever, Paradox. Where am I? Did I force you to come and save me again, Wald? Sorry for causing you all this trouble. You're finally awake? Don't worry about the details. Anyway, you're not hurt, are you? Nah, I'm fine. But more importantly, did you finally settle the score with that woman? Of course! I was about to kill her, but I saw that she spared your life. 
The least I could do is return the favor. I don't know what her plans are now, but there might be hope for her yet. I see. Was my brother Kuan around? I didn't see him, but I did sense his shadow. He's probably involved in some way. If the rebirth controlling the Nightblade is in on this, things will go to hell in a hurry. But don't you worry about a thing, little one. I will protect you as well as the art of death and rebirth that lies within you. Former allies be damned. Huh? What's wrong? Ah, still exhausted, are we? <laughs> this is why I still think of you as a little girl. Princes of the Nightblade, I cannot imagine the burden your slight frame is forced to bear. The Hollow Knight only grows stronger with each occurrence. How much longer can you go on? Kuan the Eternal and Hilda of Amnesia, the bearer of the Insulator. Everything is converging on a single point. This must be the start of the event seen by the ancient Nightblade. <laughs> I guess this old man still has a lot of work to get done. Adelheid, I don't think I can give you back this life just yet. <laughs> <laughs>